Vaughn Miller has doubled down on his prediction that OBJ is going to join him in Buffalo. The Bills linebacker and former teammate of OBJ told USA Today, Odell is, quote, coming here. He's coming to the Bills. Shannon, can you see Odell playing in Buffalo? I can, um, because I think the thing is, Skip, from what we've seen now, the Rams, they're struggling. Now, the best part about the Rams, I believe he can go back in. He probably can be the number two. Uh, although Allen Robinson did have a better game, he had he his did. best game of the season on Sunday. Yep. Um, you go to the Bills, you're the number three. Mm. Um, Diggs and uh, Davis. Mm -hmm. So those are the guys. I think the two best options for him, Skip, are the Chiefs and the Bills, actually. The Packers, do you really want to go to the Packers, Skip? Even if you're the number one receivers, do you really want to go with what they got going on? The Bucks. The Bucks, he'll be the second, he'll be the third option, but they got their own issues, and uh, I don't know if they're still really interested. The Rams, I know he wants to play, he wants to be in L.A., um, and he understands that system. Sean McVay did a great job the last, last three or four games of the regular season and throughout the playoffs of scheming and getting him one-on-one -on -one situation and let his skill set and let him flourish. Um, but right now, I think the two best options are the Bills and the Chiefs. I think because he has a relationship with Bond, I would give them a slight edge. But I wouldn't count the Chiefs out because I think he goes in as the number two option behind Kelsey. Okay. I hear everything you just said, and you could be right. But I'm going to re-quote Von Miller. He's coming here, man. He's coming to the Bills. That's he sounds like, sound like a sure thing to me. All right. We know that Von and... OBJ. Odell are very are close. Very, I think we can go very mm -hmm. close, right? Yeah. And yeah. obviously they're teammates last year, but I think. But they, they, were, they were close before they that. Were. They were, they were, yeah, they were and, close and, before that. And Vaughn has said repeatedly, we stay in touch weekly. Mm -hmm. we, we communicate. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you and Dion. You're, you're, right. you're just going to communicate right. during the week yep. at some point. Yep. I think it's highly possible that Vaughn is saying, because he's a shrewd operator, I, I'm going to be your agent here. I'm going to create a quote unquote bidder <laughs> so that it will help move the, the Rams off their Pedestrian. pathetic. <laughs> it's pathetic, is what it is. Pathetic offer, what Odell called the other day. It, it's, it was insulting. Right. It was the low of lows. Well, he, he needs a, a new bidder of magnitude. And it would be the Bills to say, oh, we, we love you. We want you. And maybe that would jumpstart his renegotiation. With so, in other words, Bond is the auctioneer. Yeah. He's tried, he's, right. tried, he's tried to raise the price. Yeah. But he's, he's creating a quote-unquote bidder that might or might not be real. Right. Because you're not talking about money. It's not Vaughn's money that he's spending for right. Odell. But the, the point is, I think you know and I know, Odell's heart of hearts he belongs in L.A. He's either New York or L.A., and now it's L.A. He's got a home in Beverly Hills. He's got a family, and he loved it in that offense, playing for that quarterback and especially for that coach. Yes. Okay? So I realize they're struggling, but when you say, well, Odell's ring chasing, well, he already he, he got a ring. Yeah. He did that. Right. It's, it's done. It's over. So all he wants to do is play in a place that he loves, Los Angeles, California, right. for a coach that he loves – Rams coach, right. Sean McVay. Okay, so it's perfect. And, and all, all he's saying is you're insulting me. They're insulting you because th th they We're don't believe you. Yeah, it's, it's like we don't want to bid against ourselves because you, you don't want to play anywhere but here. They kept his locker. You know, right. they, they – mm -hmm. okay. It, it, it's, it smacks of that Vaughn's just doing him a big favor because this is just me. Uh, the weather has turned in Buffalo, New York. Right. And it's cold, and it's, I don't know, is it snowing or snowy? Oh, or yeah, yeah, I'm sure they've gotten yeah. a, 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 a batch of snow here All and there. Right. But, Skip, he did play in New York. Now, it might be, that's upstate, so you're closer to Canada, so the weather's going to get even worse. Big you got way the lake there. effects. Right. Snow. But I, 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 what, what is he looking for, Skip? Clearly, Diggs and Davis are etched in stone. They're the one-two. He'd be three. Um I don't okay. really think I don't really think they need OBJ. I think Isaiah McKinney is a good third option slot receiver. Running game seemed to be a little better. They ran the ball exceptionally well on Sunday. Can they keep that going? I, Buffalo, I, what does Buffalo really need? When you look when you look at them, Skip, what do they need? They can get after your quarterback. They're really good on the back end, and they hadn't even got the uh, the cornerback that tore his knee up. Uh, uh, they hadn't even got him back yet. At some point in time, he's probably going to get back there. He will. They're loaded. They're on their way. And yet, 
if I'm running that franchise, do I want to add Odell's personality to the mix? Because he does have a big personality. It's working at the highest level. They right. just went to Kansas City and won, obviously, without him. Right. Would he be a good three? Well, sure, he'd be a good three because with the Rams last year, he was right on time because Cooper Cup was dominating statistics. And so he actually emerged past Van Jefferson as the number two. Right. Because there really was no clear-cut number two, Correct. right? And, yes. And there's no Robert Woods right. at that point. So th- it, he would fit, but I don't think his personality fits in Buffalo, New York, because there's something about Odell. He's, he is a superstar in magnitude, mm-hmm. and he never was comfortable in Cleveland, Ohio. I don't care what you said. No. Remember that? The yeah, first he didn't want to be He there. was asking on Twitter, y- y- you guys got any good restaurants out there, out there? That's yeah. Cleveland to him. It's out there. Well, Buffalo would be way up there, yeah. right? Yeah, they got them wings. Yeah. Oh, they got Buffalo. Okay. <laughs> I, I like Buffalo, but I, I don't love the weather because – but, but, boy, Thurman Thomas, yeah. his family's up there. So, he, okay. they swear by – he and Patty, they swear by Buffalo, but okay. I don't – I don't, I don't know, know, Skip. I don't know. But we're in L.A., so we're good to yeah, go. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, I, you don't have to ask me any questions about eateries. It's, Whatever you want to eat. Yep. And meat or no meat. Ho-hum, another day in paradise. Yeah, right? yeah, it's yeah. It's a beautiful day outside, <laughs> and, and Odell knows that. Yes. And that's where he wants to be. He wants that eucalyptus smell in the snow. Hey, I'm telling you, Kansas City would be a good option for him, yeah. though. Okay, well. Can, gets, you play, can you imagine him with my homeboy getting that thing to him? My homeboy? Yeah, you know, it. it it wouldn't be bad. I just don't think he sees himself living in Kansas City because you got to live there. Yeah. You, you, you have no choice. Temporary. Yeah. Temporary. Uh, temporary houses. Give you know how you move. Hey, yeah. temporary houses. Uh, I've done that. Be like a Methodist a minister. You got a couple years that you're there, but yeah. that's right here. You know, you're in the military. <laughs> you know, military, you drop down, you drop you down do. one place. <laughs> yeah, you know about that method of Methodist minister. They come in there for about five, six years, then they, they gone. That is true. They move them around. <laughs> yep. Moving and grooving. Well, I'm excited to see where OBJ ends up. He's going to be a big asset to whatever team yep. he ends up choosing. All right, Tom Brady, guys, some new motivational tactics by him. Are they going to work, though, in Tampa? They sit at 500. That's next. Guy, Tom Brady, he posted a photo on IG with the caption that read, quote, football is hard. We're not playing like we're capable. We're in it together. We'll turn it around. Hashtag go Bucks. The Bucs, three and three, sitting at 500, having lost three of their last four. Shannon, you first, scale of one to ten. How worried should Bucks fans be about Brady's play so far? They should be a nine because he hadn't looked right all season. Skip, there's only one game in which he's thrown for more than one touchdown in the game, and that was against Kansas City, and they were down by three, three scores for the lion's share of that ball game. He's thrown one touchdown in all the other games, three in that game. Um, when you look at – and I think they should be concerned because he hasn't looked right all year. He looks very stoic. He looks very unhappy. Skip, Tom Brady is fourth in the league in pass attempts, but he's 12th in touchdown passes. Everybody keeps talking about, well, he, he has the best touchdown. The man has eight touchdowns. Skip, that's his fewest touchdowns in, what, since 2013 through six games. Was Gronk not the greatest red zone target you could ever imagine? But you told me to go. He to go, right? Okay, he yeah. go. Right. Okay, he's 22nd in yards per attempt. He's 50, he has a 52 QBR, which is 